Hey, Amazon seller. I'm Justin Boggs, the co-founder and chief revenue officer of Marketplace Valet. We have been an Amazon seller since 2006 with over 400,000 reviews as a seller. I'm here to help you learn about Amazon, solve problems, and answer common questions. Today's video is about how to unlink international inventory Amazon sellers Central USA and Canada. Let's get into it. If you are following along from my screen, I'm going to talk about something that's becoming more common as more sellers expand into Canada, how to manage and unlink your international inventory between the US and Canada in Amazon Seller Central. Now, if you're selling in both markets, there's a tool called Build International Listings that syncs your inventory between the US and Canada. But what happens when you need to stop that connection? Let's say, for instance, you're shipping from the U.S. with FBA and have been syncing that inventory with Canada, but now you realize that this automatic syncing might not be what you want, or it's causing some issues with your inventory levels. Maybe your inventory is going live when it shouldn't be, or vice versa. If that's happening, you might need to remove that connection between your U.S. and Canadian listings. What you need to do is head over to the Build International Listings tool. Once you're there, you can find the option to remove the connection in the bottom right corner. By doing that, you're telling Amazon that the inventory in the U.S. and Canada should be managed separately. So if you have 100 units in the U.S. but want zero available in Canada, breaking that connection ensures your inventory stays unique to each market. Now, if you actually want the inventory to stay the same between both countries, for instance, with merchant fulfilled orders, then you'd want to build that connection, not remove it. There's also another layer to this. If you're using FBA's Remote Fulfillment Program, also known as NARF, that ships US FBA inventory to Canada and Mexico, things get a little more complicated. If you want to use both NARF and have Canadian FBA stock directly in Canada's warehouses, you'll need to create separate SKUs for each, or you'll need to turn off remote fulfillment. Navigating these details can get tricky, but it's manageable once you know how to work through the tools. If you're ready to expand into Canada or already selling there and running into these challenges, unlinking your inventory might be the solution. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps clarify how to better manage your international inventory. If you have any questions, feel free to check us out at marketplacevalet.com, like and follow us for more helpful Amazon content. Thanks for watching this video.